Hey everyone, I'm Captain Forest Falcon, and welcome back to Ocarina of Time Randomizer! So, I decided that I'm going to do one bonus video, and it's specifically with the Water Temple in mind. Because we never actually ended up coming here uh, when we did this randomizer. And there is a cool little trick that you guys may have never seen before, because it is completely impractical, except in terms of a randomizer. And the reason I wanted to show this off, well, is just because... It is, it is the first time that I ever discovered, like, glitches in a video game. So, basically as a kid, like, I'm talking like, uh, I think I must have been like 7 or 8. One thing that I would do in the Water Temple is, I found with these torches that, like, that, you know, you didn't have to hookshot right onto them. So, I became interested in trying to see how far away I could hookshot away from them. So anyway, I kind of just found this trick as a kid just by randomly experimenting. But so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do a proper alignment. So if I run into the corner like right about here and aim it just to the right of this corner here, that'll allow me to hook shot outside of the boundary. So as you could guess, when I first discovered this, it was kind of like a mind blowing experience. <laughs> so one thing is that... Uh, you do have to be careful with this because of the fact that while outside the, outside the boundary you can see everything on the map normally the thing is is that the other rooms that are here like that room with the treasure chest it still is technically there so if you move yourself into that room uh, you'll actually get stuck there now here's the thing why would this ever be an important or useful thing at any time well one thing that is super useful uh, to do with this is there is this room over here uh oh did I did I get myself stuck in the room uh oh boy yeah so as you can see uh, I've currently gotten myself stuck in the room <laughs> so if you if you do this oh also the world kind of yeah, you can actually escape the water at certain points in here. Like, so the water physics don't even affect you. Cool, you can kind of just see the entire world around you. But anyway, you kind of, this is the thing that you don't want to have happen, uh, because then you actually, I don't even think, can escape from here. You're just kind of stuck in this, uh, you're just stuck in this for the rest of, it, uh, rest of the game. Or until you save. Actually, can you go through the door? No. Maybe if maybe if it wasn't uh, locked down, uh, we could do it. But yeah, I have to reset because I'm stuck now. Okay, so here we are again. So once again, you go in the corner like this. And you're aligning with this like crux right here. You want the, the red dot to like just not be on the line, but just be like just to the right, just above it. And that seems to work every single time. So this time what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let myself float straight up because I think that's like the perfect spot I need to be to reach this level here. Then I want to swim so I can get into this room. And as you can see, what this lets you do, this lets you get into this room uh, without needing bombs. And it also lets you get here without ever having to have Zelda's lullaby. So there's like two th checks that you would normally need to get to this one chest here. Now, there is one other thing. Uh, you can't open chests underwater. But, thankfully, uh, due to other people's discovery, there is a trick to doing this. So, what you do is you would hookshot or longshot onto the chest. And while you are traveling towards it, uh, like while your hookshot's going, you can pause it and remove it. Okay, never mind. You don't even have to change your boots. The whole trick is just you just need to use the long shot and just mash the A button when you get to the chest. Never mind what I was saying about changing boots. That isn't a thing here. You just need to have you just need to long shot and then just mash A. It gives you a fraction of a second to open it up. And so yeah, basically that's the trick, the whole trick there. You just break out of the wall and it lets you get to this one room. I don't know if there's any other room where this is practical. Because uh, the thing is, is that any 
it only shows rooms that are in your current instance. Uh, so, like, think places that you would have to travel to between doors while they're there. Uh, they don't show anything. So, like, uh, if you look around, um, all you can see is you can see, like, the path you came in and the pathway up. And that's, like, the one area there which has a chest which you can access using this method here. So, I don't know. There might be other places where this sort of thing could be useful. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, also, I guess I can just swim all the way up here. And now I'm just, you know, casually... Yeah, if I want to, I can then just come out just like that. Yeah, the only time it's a problem is if you go into one of the rooms that's behind the door because then you're stuck. But you can always use the Oak Arena if you feel like it. I don't know if the warps work, though. Okay, so anyway, that's pretty much the extent of the trick. That's what I... That was the first time that I ever actually, like, broke a video game and figured out kind of, uh, how to go somewhere you're not really supposed to go. So it was something that I was always really excited with, always has stuck with me, and it basically it was like it would inspired me to go look at other ways to break games later on, which I've done a lot of with Zelda games. <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching me. You soar like the amazing Falcons you are, and have a wonderful day. Peace out!